When it comes to men's health, there is a big difference in how older men care for their health compared to younger men. Here to tell us more is urologist and men's health expert, Rativ Bollet. So what are the most significant generational differences that were revealed in Cleveland Clinic's ninth annual Mention It survey when it comes to men's health? So we found that older generations were more likely to be proactive about their physical health. So that includes things like going to the doctor for their annual checkup, getting their recommended screenings, and avoiding harmful habits like smoking. Whereas the younger generations were more likely to take care of their mental health. How are older men more proactive about their health compared to the younger counterparts and vice versa? So the older men were more likely to get over to the lab, get their testing done that was recommended by their doctors uh, to, to detect for any kinds of common cancers. Uh, and they were more likely to quit bad habits like smoking. Now, that's not to say that older generations you know, are perfect in terms of their cancer screenings. We do have room to improve. Uh, even in this generation, uh, there are about quarter percent, uh, 25 percent of men who don't get their recommended prostate cancer screenings uh, who are actually eligible to do so, and about 30 percent of men who are eligible to get colorectal cancer screenings uh, and haven't yet. So we do have some room to work even in these older generations who tend to be better. And this is really interesting. How does social media and AI play a role in influencing health information among different generations? So that was another really interesting finding that we picked up in our survey this year. We found that younger men were just so much more likely to get their information online and specifically on social media platforms and also using some of these AI virtual assistant platforms. And we found this was more common, especially for some of the more sensitive questions of urinary symptoms or even sexual health problems. So what challenges does this pose for healthcare providers? I think that's a great question. I think as healthcare providers, we do need to make sure that we're engaging with people on the platforms that they like to use and that they like to get their health information. So the Cleveland Clinic does a tremendous job of putting out educational material online on social media platforms uh, and on their patient education web pages, trying to get good and reliable information out there. But first and foremost, I think it's important for us all to recognize that the best thing to do is establish with a trusted primary care provider to be getting the right information about screenings and maintain your health for the future. So what strategies can be used to improve the rates of preventative care and health screenings among younger men? I think online platforms are going to be a way that we really get to engage with patients, especially in the younger generations. I, getting the information out there that it's important to know your family history so that even if you're not feeling sick, it's important to know if your father or uncle or grandfather had a condition so that you can tell that to your doctor and get more information on recommended screenings. It's important to get your baseline screenings done. So many men have never had their cholesterol checked or getting a, gotten a blood pressure taken. So making sure that the public has this kind of information is really our next best step towards maintaining everyone's future health. So where can our viewers uh, go to learn more about the survey and the findings? They can go to clevelandclinic.org slash mention it. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.